Welcome to our course on understanding cancer metastasis. I'm Ken Pienta, a professor of urology and oncology at Johns Hopkins University and director of this course. This first lecture will concentrate on the history and overview of metastasis and give you a flavor of how cancer is defined as well as some of the history surrounding how we began to understand metastasis. Specifically, at the end of this module, you will be able to define cancer, define metastasis, describe the lethality of metastasis, and explain the seed and soil hypothesis of metastasis. Our first section will look at the definition of metastasis. First, we need to start with what is cancer? Cancer means uncontrolled growth. It's the disease caused by an uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in a part of the body. Cancer can also be referred to as a tumor. A tumor is defined as a swelling of a part of the body, generally without inflammation, meaning it's not tender, caused by an abnormal growth of tissue, which can either be benign or malignant. Cancer can also be referred to as a neoplasm, which means a new and abnormal growth of tissue in some part of the body. Cancer is a global problem. In 2012, approximately 14 million people were diagnosed with cancer around the world. More than half of these, 8 million, occurred in economically developing countries. Over half of the people diagnosed with cancer, 8.2 million, died in 2012. Cancer is a growing problem around the world as we get better at treating heart disease, as well as as we get better at helping people live longer. Cancer definitely increases with aging. By 2030, the number of new cancer cases diagnosed worldwide is expected to be almost 22 million people. There will be 13 million deaths in 2030 worldwide. How is metastasis related to cancer? Well, a tumor refers to a growth in the body, and cancer itself, the word, can refer to one growth in the body or a disease that refers to all of the growths after a tumor has spread. Metastasis refers to the spreading of cancer from a primary site to distant organs. We know that all solid tumors can metastasize. Liquid cancers like leukemia do not metastasize because there is no primary tumor. Most people who die of cancer will die because they have a metastatic tumor or metastatic tumors. Some cancers are diagnosed infrequently with metastatic cancer, such as breast and prostate cancer, likely due to better screening methods which can find the tumors before they become metastatic. Therefore, many of these cancers are cured by primary treatment with surgery or radiation. Sometimes the cancer recurs, it becomes metastatic, and that's what kills the patient. Some tumors are difficult to screen and detect, and therefore are metastatic by the time they are diagnosed. You can see by the number of deaths worldwide due to the six most common cancers, breast, prostate, lung, colon, liver, and stomach, that metastatic cancer is still a huge problem, whether it's present at the time of diagnosis or whether it develops as a recurrence. In summary, cancer continues to be a major cause of human suffering and death worldwide. The majority of this suffering and death is caused by cancer that is metastasized from the primary organ and spread to other places in the body.